Welcome to my YouTube channel, Financial Literacy Class 101. Our topic today is at what moment should you realize the alcohol you're taking is too much and it's time to quit it. So, this is the topic. If you need to reach me out, that is my number. Kindly, if you find this tutorial, ensure you leave a like for YouTube algorithm to suggest the content to other people and as a guest you of appreciating our good work otherwise if you have a brother a brother a dad or a relative who has this addiction for them this, this video for them to get financial literacy literacy about about the alcohol and so that so that all of us in the community we, will at one time be, be get their financial freedom so this is a person who makes irrational decisions if you find yourself that you are making irrational decisions in, in irrational decisions it means like once you just have that trigger to drink when you drank like one bottle of beer and the second beer you find this person becomes unruly he's uncontrollable uncontrollable he's fighting all over he's having he's behaving he's behaving in a very weird way he 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 he, 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 he has a lot of verbal diarrhea such that they cannot keep any se secret that's a way of irrational decisions. Once you realize your alcohol has gotten to that stage, it's time to quit it. Again, in financial literacy class 101, this is the view we give about alcohol. If you budget for your alcohol, you'll never be broke. If you decide that every weekend on a Friday I'll be spending 1000 and on every football match that I'm watching on Saturday, I'll also be spending another 1000 If you budget it prior the month starting, prior you going to find the cash, then that is not financial literacy because even be in Kenya, it is accepted by the government. You cannot be jailed unless you drink, you are you are drunk and disorderly. But as long as you drink, you 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 drink beer in the right places and in the right time, right right, right time, you'll never have issues with authority. So something else that we are saying is once you meet yourself, you are neglecting responsibilities. You meet that maybe you are a student, you are a comrade, you are failing to attend your classes, to university classes. If you're in a job, you're getting warning letters from the job. Uh, HR is, is complaining that uh, that your human input has gone, gone, gone down upon them doing an appraisal. So that is it. That is the time that you should realize that, hey, hey alcohol, ni kama inanizidi, ni mimi na kunyo pombe ama ni pombe na nikunyo. Thank you. So dependency. Dependency. This is when you realize that you have that you you have you cannot relax until you drink beer. You have that that you you are depending on it. You cannot start your day until you take that beer. What the moment you realize that it's time to to work it out how to quit that uh, that alcohol when you're experiencing withdrawal syndromes. So what are these withdrawal syndrome syndromes? We are talking about uh, you meet yourself, you're having an anxiety, tremor, or sweating during the day. Be not because the temperatures are high, because you've not drunk beer. You get it. At that point, it's time you realize, eh, hey, uni fal me uni bazu, lakini lazima tu, tu, eshimiane, kila na line yake. So another thing is uh, when you are struggling with ment mental, when you meet yourself that you are struggling too much with, with mental disorder. With mental disorder, mental dis mental disorder is detrimental. So what do I mean? Sometimes you find that you are too low, and anytime you quit alcohol, at least your energy levels, the inner energy levels, are managed to be boosted. At that point, if you realize that, it's time to realize that that you are struggling, you are struggling with the depression, and the reason you are struggling with the depression is taking this alcohol, and this alcohol is making no progress because you are just buying and consuming, buying and consuming, and not investing in anything. So another thing is uh, inability to do to cut down. There's this type of friends who normally every say that uh, they are they have stopped the wameata kukunya alcohol. Then before three weeks again, they go back to the to the to the to the, to, the, to, to drinking. If you want to realize that you you really quit alcohol, kindly help you kind, kindly kindly try staying six months four to six months without taking it at all once you do that your system will have uh, have adapted it and have mechanisms how to be able to cope to cope and feel that gap that now you're not you've not been taking alcohol have have ha, have tried 
you have tried failed you have tried cutting it down but it fails there, there's this person who always have that scene that nitacha pombe nitacha pombe then every time he keep backsliding backsliding once you do that for like two times it's time to know it's the alcohol is becoming dangerous and it's time to quit it then there is this behavior change behavior change you meet your in a relationship and since you've been drinking so much even the couple is uh, uh, your couple partner your couple mate has become disinterested in you and they are willing even to you file a divorce because you know ne- you are never in the house you once once you come in the house you don't give them conjugal rights and then it ends up in a in a messy way then the other thing is is uh, is health problem what are these health problems you meet somebody who is overtaking alcohol sometimes they have le- liver diseases blood pressure and hangover uh, affecting affecting their life by the detrimental energy but they are in a power getting down once you realize that you have health problems maybe your liver has issues and the doctor has told you do not take more alcohol it's time to know that you have to quit for us to live longer this is financial literacy class class 101 thank you to subscribe head to our youtube search browser type as one word at sign financial literacy class 101 thank you